Hi, I'm Valerie Dawson from Portland, Oregon. And today for our appetizer, I'm gonna make cherry chipotle puff. And I came up with this recipe from two of my favorite appetizers. One of them is where you take Philadelphia cream cheese and you put a raspberry chipotle sauce on top and just serve it with crackers. Well, my other favorite appetizer is to take the brie cheese and fold it up in the puff pastry and usually put like cherries and pecans. So I kind of combined the two recipes and decided to make my own creation. So I'm really excited about it. And for the ingredients, of course, we have Philadelphia cream cheese, an entire box. I use the third less fat, but you can use the full fat, whatever you'd like. And I'm using um, cherry preserves. And what I have done is I've taken two chipotle peppers and blended them with a half of a jar of the cherry preserves. And I have my pecans already toasted and chopped. And my block, I've already mentioned this, but I'm gonna mention it again because this is the whole secret of the recipe is the Philadelphia cream cheese. And I have a um, sheet of puff pastry already thawed and ready to go. And on, ba on a baking stone, you can also use a cooking sheet, a cookie sheet if you don't have a baking stone. So I am gonna take the blended cherry preserves and I'm going to spoon it in the very middle, in the center of this puff pastry. And then on top of that, I'm gonna take the cream cheese. I have put it into a circle and I've kind of flattened it a little bit. And you just put it right in the middle of the puff pastry. And then I'll take the rest of these preserves, this is so good, and just spoon it right on top and take the pecans, sprinkle those on top of that. And you're almost done making your appetizer. This is a great recipe to make if you have company coming and you're realizing that Oh my God, my dinner is not gonna be ready when they get here. This is so quick to put together that you can make this in a second, have an appetizer and have something for all the hungry people to eat while you're getting dinner ready. So what you do with the puff pastry is you just fold the corners in, just like this. So you're gonna be left with a bundle. And then make sure that you seal all the edges really, really tightly so that none of the yumminess can seep out while it's in the oven. And then I like to turn it over so that's on the bottom. And then you crack an egg because it's going to give it a nice sheen while it's in the oven baking. And add a tablespoon of water to that. You're going to mix it up. And then you're going to brush the puff pastry with this beaten egg. And that's just going to give it a nice golden brown color that you normally wouldn't get with just the puff pastry alone. Make sure your egg is really beaten in there. You don't want to have any of the egg yolk by itself. So once that is nicely beaten, I'm just going to take a pastry brush and brush the top of this beautiful, cute little bundle. And you're going to put it in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, you're gonna have your appetizer. See you in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been puffing up. I've been watching it through the oven. I think it's ready to come out. Here we go. Look how beautiful this is. The color on this is just so beautiful and this looks like an appetizer that I've worked hard on all day and what did it take like 10 minutes so here it is our chipotle cherry puff so look how beautiful this turned out I cannot wait to cut into this I mean this is so elegant and yet it was so easy to make and this reminds me of my mom when I was little used to give Tupperware parties and she would make a bunch of appetizers like this and we as kids couldn't wait till it was over because then we got to try all the appetizers that they didn't finish and it really got me into a love of appetizers which is how I got into trying different things in the kitchen little nibbles and bites to have before you eat so let's try this out
And what you can do with this is you can actually serve this on bread, on little baguettes, or you can put it on crackers. Just whatever you have around that you would like to serve it because it is a little runny, but it's so delicious once you put, you know spread it onto a baguette or cracker or whatever you want to try it on. But that's what it looks like when you cut into it. Just beautiful. So I'm going to try mine on a cracker today. Mmm. That was just perfect. Thank you, Philadelphia Cream Cheese, and thank you, Paula Dean.